Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In a couple of days, somebody sent me this and asked how to trace it, and I just about gave up, and the gentleman did it himself. He evidently, I don't know how he did it. It looked like he wrote it out or something with a magic marker, uh, but pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to select this text, and I'm going to left-click, right-click, and outline. Now, there are some major problems in here, but... All we really have to do is take the virtual segment delete key and just delete some little lines for the smart field to get through. Uh, it's got to be able to get through these places. I'm only going to do a couple of letters and he can take it from there. So the smart field tool ought to be get in everywhere. So we're going to set our nudge factor on like two inches and just for I'm gonna set his duplicate distance on zero, zero. That's the way you should really keep it. So let's fill this in. And look at this. Now when we right click, left click, the majority of that garbage is gone. There's a few little specks that it couldn't handle, but if we take it and go up to object and break the curve apart, we can take the shape tool or the pick tool, but you can grab these nodes and just delete these nodes. So I'm just clicking on them and hitting delete. Now we've got all the interior parts gone. Uh, there's some pretty rough spots where there's nodes like that, so we can delete that node. We can actually select both those and right-click our mouse and turn them into a line, and that gets rid of it. But he wanted to know how to kind of clean it up. Uh, this is relatively easy. Let's try this first. Let's select all the nodes with the pick of uh, the shape tool and let's delete them by putting the number 20. That looks terrible, so we're gonna go back and not use that. We're gonna grab the shape tool and if you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool. We're gonna set the smoothing tool on like 0.25. Click on your item. We might have to break it apart. No, nope. we should be able to, yeah, there we go. Sometimes you just can't tell. And then just take your smoothing tool and you can adjust your speed, set it on like 20 and just go through there. And uh, once you kind of get the hang of it, you'll uh, go with the speed you need. We might need to adjust that one part right there. Um, looks like there's too much to, uh, so go back to the shape tool and just delete one of those nodes and delete that node. Now we're gonna go back to the smoothing tool and click on our item and just kind of like smooth this out. If you, if you keep moving, you won't really do too much damage to the integrity of the font. Sometimes it's almost easier to back up and look at it. He did a really good job, I'm, I'm quite proud of what he did, I would have probably given up and just take this and just smooth it out. And when you fill it in, you'll really be able to tell the difference. And it's a pretty neat font. Well, we, we both tried to match it, couldn't match it. And the longer you stay on an area, the smoother it gets. I'm gonna call that good. Maybe go over it just one more time. Now let's, I'm gonna go ahead and do the O. So all the letters would be the same. You just need to take out the lines for the smart field to do. So that, that O is good, so we're gonna leave it. We're gonna take the shape uh, virtual segment delete key and delete that. So all we have to do is just get a little bit of a facet for the smart field to go into. Let's take this double line and let's see what happens when we delete a node or two. And if we go too far, it doesn't really matter because we can take this node and just move it over there. And you could go through here and delete some of these nodes uh, so the Smart Field tool can do its work better. That, see, so we've got nodes up there and nodes down there, but the Smart Field tool should, should be able to handle all that. I'm just kind of deleting some we don't need. Now take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and just nudge it down to the other one. What is good about doing text 
is that when you have two letters that are the same, you only have to clean up one of them. We could put the other one in there. Now, I would like to try this again and see what happens. Well, we've got some interior nodes we need to get rid of. These are just nodes that are set on top of themselves. So let's select them all and let's go back to this and go 20. Nope, it's not gonna work in this case. We've got so many nodes going different directions. Just take the smoothing tool, click that time you could see the nodes uh, highlight when I hit it with the smoothing tool. And just go through here and smooth it out. Now, once you have it the way you want it, just hit the plus key, start moving and hold down the control button and just put it about where you think the other one should go. So there you've done three letters and only had to do two. And then there's some more O's, you could replace those. Uh, the G, you know, so all you need to do is do the D and the G's already done. Um, you know, those two O's would be the same. So it is gonna take a little bit of work and then when you fill this in with a black and then I would take away the outline, it's gonna look pretty good. You know, you could maybe clean it up a little bit more, but also in this figure they had some uh, uh, like offset coloring. I might go over that in the next video. Anyway, hope that helped, thank you for watching.